friends, it's Rina B here, and I know it's been a hot minute since I've made a video, but I hope to have a video tutorial up for you guys really soon, uh, in the next couple of days. I wasn't going to do this, but I have a lot of stuff that I picked up recently from scrapbook.com, from Crate Paper, uh, the All Heart Collection, and Sunny Days. Although I did a Sunny Days um, haul on my Instagram Live, um, I think I'm just going to share it all in one video. So this is going to be long, so I hope you guys can grab a snack or a beverage and enjoy. There's just a lot of amazing stuff, and I just really need to share this collection. It's just, it's so beautiful, and I love it so much. So before I get into the haul, I just wanted to say that um, I have been a little MIA here, and I do apologize for that. It's just because I've been working on um, my business, launching my first class with Big Picture Classes that is going to be out uh, really soon, in less than a month in April, I launched a new collection, as you know, the Radical Love Collection, which is all about self-love, and this will go perfectly with my Radical Love Collection. I just, it's so perfect. I'm just really busy and also working on my Patreon, so yeah, that is what's been going on with me. But anyway, let's get into the haul. I'm so excited. There's a couple more things here that, uh, yeah, I got a lot of stuff. So this is a haul made over a month and multiple different times. It's really frustrating because scrapbook.com doesn't offer free shipping over a certain amount. And I think they should, honestly, because they're the largest, you know, store that sells scrapbook stuff online. And, you know, smaller businesses have um, free shipping after a certain amount. And I just think it's silly that scrapbook.com still hasn't done that, especially for the international people. I always have to pay customs and my shipping fees. So this is really expensive stuff right here. Like, I'm not going to be using this stuff lightly. Um, just so you know, like, it's really expensive to ship to Canada from scrapbook.com plus the custom fees that I'm always hit with when I when it comes to the door. So it's definitely well-loved stuff. I don't just place an order for shits and giggles. I really love all of this and that's why there's a lot of stuff. I just actually placed another order today <laughs> Um, for the rest of the All Heart stuff, the papers, the puffy stickers, and whatever that was missing, except for the chipboard, it's still missing on scrapbook.com, which I'll probably do a small order or something. So let's get started. All right, so not from this collection is the Pink Paisley. This is from Pick Me Up, which is an older collection, but I love this alpha so much. I love that it's blocked and has polka dots and... Um, it's such a cute little font, so it's perfect for Project Life. I also got this Nouveau Shimmer Powder. It's the new Lilac Waterfall, and this is so cool. I can't wait to do some mixed media projects with this. Oh, my nail polish is already chipping. Anyway, um, sprinkle some on your paper, and then you wet it with water, and it's like an explosion of colors that you can kind of see here. Also, I'm filming with my new mount from Archon Mounts, so if you guys are noticing a difference, more of an overhead look, that is why. So I got three packs of the All Heart Ephemera. I've been checking almost daily for um, All Heart collection hauls because I've been just anticipating all this stuff. And no one's really shared the die cut, so I'm going to do that for you right here. Let me just do a bit at a time. This reminds me of um, the Smiths, one of their songs. I love these florals. Good times ahead. Girl power. Phone. Alright, so that was the ephemera. I also got the washi tape. And I only got it for the last three because they're so beautiful and I had to have them. Um, I also really like the glitter sparkle one and the dots. I just don't really like how there's three solid colors. I don't know, I'm not very, I'm not someone who uses solid colors often. And I do commentary when I do my hauls, so if you don't like that, you can easily just X out of this video. Um, I just like to share my thoughts and why I bought stuff and things that I don't like. So if you don't like that, no worries, you can just, you know, watch a different haul video. So this is from the new Pink Paisley collection, Horizon, and I just love the globes. I had to get it for my travel albums. It's just so pretty. And you can obviously like, you know, stamp different colors and whatnot. This is from All Heart. 
I love this so much. I love how there's so much on this stamp set. There's 22 stamps and this is so cute. So I got two of the All Heart sticker book. Oh. They've changed the material of the clear stickers um, and I love it. Like I said in my live on Instagram, it has a different texture. It seems like high quality versus the clear stickers that you might get in other types of sticker books. I'm not sure about the material names, but there's just something different to it. And also, the prints are solid enough, they're opaque enough that when you layer them on something, it'll show through. Like, it doesn't camouflage to the background as easy. So, so there's this one, this sheet here. The back is this, and I absolutely love this one right here. This is so perfect for, like, a title page for a journal. Some stars and stickers and I bought a lot of stuff because this is for me for project life for my patreon and for happy mail swaps and stuff like that so I needed to get a lot of stuff so for example these hands they're not transparent they are white so it'll show through if you stick it on a photo that has more of a darker background or something there are some labels and then stickers this is my least favorite page I just find all these icons a little hard to use it's okay but I'll still use them obviously I got the all heart enamel hearts. Well, these are actually resin. I knew they were going to be chunky, but when seeing them in person, they are a little bit bigger than I thought. So let me just take one out to show you. They're sticky backed. They are super thick. But they are so pretty. It's full of holographic glitter. I only got one pack of those because I love them so much. I just don't really know how I would use them because they are very, very dimensional. So definitely going to be on Happy Mail stuff. Um, I got two packs of the paper pad. And they are, um, there's two prints of each. I love this one. At first I didn't like the papers, but then I caved and I do. This is my favorite one. I love the journal. I love this one too. And this pattern is a bit different than the 12x12. 12 12. I love this one. It could also go nicely with sunny days. Okay. And surprisingly, I didn't really think I would like this one because I'm not into brown, but I really do, so that's fun. Alright, so next I got three of these puffy stickers, and I'm going to just open one up so I can show you. I like to remove the tops of my packaging, and it's easier for me to, like, remove things. Here are the puffy stickers. So freaking cute. I love them. The thing about this collection is that I can see myself using every single sticker. You know, a lot of collections come out and I like like 90% of it, but then there's always that 10% of stuff that I'll never be able to use, like um, pears and lemon trees. <laughs> if you guys know what I'm talking about, the Willow Lane collection. But I still really love that collection. It's one of my favorite Maggie Holmes collections ever. I can use every single sticker, no joke, on this um, sticker sheet. And that's rare. I can even use this can. It's just, it's so amazing. I absolutely love this collection so much. And there is kind of like an iridescent overlay on some of the stickers. It's very, very subtle. It's not as in your face as the Sunny Days collection. But if you can see on that rainbow, there's a little bit there. But so all these stickers are amazing. I can't wait to make projects with this. I have so many fun ideas. Now moving on to Sunny Days. I did get the thickers. I love these so much. I wish they were a little bit smaller though. And I got the clips, which was a very uh, impulse buy. <laughs> but I am going to be redoing my office space. So I thought this would be really fun to clip. One of those like grid clippy things that you could put on your wall. So I did get the washi and I have been using it already. My most used washi is this one. This one I've been using all the time. I love it. I haven't used the yellow yet. Um, I tried, but I haven't. This one is another one of my favorites. This really pretty floral. Um, I love, love, love the map. Definitely my favorite. Um, I love this map so much. This has some words, best day ever. Love this day. This is a see-through iridescent plastic kind of tape. So I love that. I already used it as well. And then the floral. So pretty. Um, so I already showed you this, but I did get the clear stickers and I love them. I actually picked up another pack because this sheet right here is one of my favorites and I can use it for any all year round pretty much. I got two packs of the ephemera and I already opened up one and I put it away but um, I'm not going to open this one up because there are a lot of videos out there now with sunny days ephemera packs being shown so if you guys really want to see it um, just pause it right here. They're really cute. I already used up some. I got three packs of stickers. 
and I already started using them as you can see I love this collection again I use it for project life and my album my travel album uh, for my big picture class and again I did open it up and I already started using I used the love the lot of hearts and I used the bird the camera this floral thing and this frame and lots of hearts too so yay one thing that is not um, sunny days are these Amy Tangerine uh, tassels. I always wanted them, and this is a really older collection. It's on a whim. I think it came out last year, but I think it's really cute, and I'm going to try to alter these, like take out the watermelon and stuff like that, because I thought this would be really fun to hang from a hoop mail or a mini album. Next is a sunny days chipboard, and you can see I already started using some pieces. I find chipboard really hard to use, but... I wanted to get the full collection. I really do love the subtle foiling. It's so dainty, like the foiling on the glasses, the foiling on the bird, on the wings. There's just something about this collection that it's not bold foiling, it's not in your face. There's just a subtle hint of foiling and I love that so much. Like the sunglasses here, can you pick that up? It's just, it's so beautiful, I love it. Okay, I think that's it. Now we're getting into the paper. I got, um, one of the maps, or actually, I don't know if I got it. No, I just got one of the maps. Oh, um, if you watched my live, you will know what I talked about about this side. Um, no comment. I'm not going to get into detail because I don't want my YouTube video to get flagged or whatever, but this reminds me of Lady Parts. Moving on. But I did get two because um, in my video, like I showed, if you mat it, it doesn't look so bad. And I really do like this side. So that's why I got two. This is from Dear Lizzie New Day. Um, not really a fan of this collection, but this pattern paper gives me life. The fact that I actually bought another two in my recent scrapbook.com order, and I have like six here, so that's how much I love this paper. It's called Mindful, and I just love this pattern so much. But the back side has a stripe, and you guys know me. I love my black and white stripes. This is just gorgeous, and I love to um, make altered projects and stuff, so I like to fold over, and I like the fact, I love the combo. I love how these two are together, because if you were to make a project and have this on the outside or this on the outside, like, either way you fold it is beautiful. So I want to make one of those mini folios that I love making. If you guys want to see the, tu the tutorial, I'll link it below. Again, I already started using some stuff, so I have this paper. Um, I'll show you what it looks like in the 12 by 12 because there's a lot. I got another two of these in my recent order because I love this pattern. And I got another two of these in my recent order, even though I already have like five here. Um, I just love it so much. It's one of my favorites. And the reason why these are out from the order is because I have a project in mind, and I pulled these three aside for that project. That's why these are all not in order. This is one of my favorite, favorite patterns. I love Birds in Flight. Hello. <laughs> and Birds in Flight is just a thing of mine. Always loved it. And this is the only pattern paper I've ever seen with it at least to my knowledge, so I'm really excited about it. I love both sides, and I just, I can't wait to make projects with that. All right, I did get one of these, Peachy. I'm not really into this side. I really like this side and how I can cut it apart and do things with it. This is called Wander, and I did order one more on my recent order that I placed today. I also got two of these, um, but I already cut one up, so it's in my storage section thing. So I love, love, love this, and this side is really fun too. Again, the Lady Bits paper. Let's move on. I got one swimmer, I think, because I just, it's really cute, but I don't know, I don't really see myself using it often, so I only got one. And this is another one of my favorite patterns, so I think I got five. Yeah, I already cut into one, so you saw that. It just is so pretty. I love this pattern. And they're like little butterflies and flowers. It's so pretty. And the back side is really subtle, too. So again, if you want to make a project where you use both sides, look how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Can't wait to start crafting with this. I only got two of these. because I would, This is really specific, so I'd probably use it just for like beach days or whatever. But I do like this side as well. And again, if you fold it over, it's a nice combo. I did, an or I did order another one of these because I find it hard to use, but it's so beautiful. It's one of my favorite patterns, and I just, I wanted more. What kind of fish scale pattern? Here we are, the birds, and I did get five, I think, in the back. It has this really pretty soft pink, uh, coralish pink, kind of, with this um, blue, and my nail polish kind of almost matches. That's fun. Another really pretty pattern. I got a couple, how many did I get? One, two, I got four of these, but I only got it because I love the side to cut apart, to use on projects or whatnot. Happy Mail, and again, both sides look really nice together. So... Here's Daisy, and as you can see, I did get three, but I did order two more, because I love both sides, and again, fold it over, bam, beautiful combo. I did get five of these, which I should have just gotten four, <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, I already cut one up, and I put it in my ephemera a little bit, so these are butterflies, really beautiful, beautiful butterflies that I can cut up, and then the side here obviously has the real photos elements that I really love as well. I got two of these because, and this is totally inspired by Love Letter Generation, Alicia. Um, she did a beautiful Happy Mail, and I'll link it below if you guys want to check it out. And she used this pattern, and I wasn't originally going to buy it. And she also inspired me to buy the peach one, too. Um, but, I don't know, I just really love the way she used it. And obviously, I do Project Life, so I can use these as monthly cards for my Project Life as well. So that's why I got two. One for Project Life, and one for a project. Here we are. Again, this beautiful parasol. So I did, I only got, so I did get four, and I just, I picked up another two. Beautiful side, because, again, guys, they go so well together. I love when they do that. I got two of these. Oh no, I got me. Got four. Okay. <laughs> um, 
because I really do love this pattern. Easy to fussy cut, and the back side is really pretty too. And then I did get four, I think, and I already cut one up, of the um, cut apart sheet. So beautiful, and the back has a black and white stripe, so pretty. That is my haul, guys. I know this is a long video. I hope you enjoy it, though. Nowadays, you gotta buy in bulk, right? <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. And like I said, I will have a video for you really soon. Uh, maybe Thursday or tomorrow, we'll see. I'll have a really fun tutorial for you guys. So yeah, anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know you want to see more hauls because I was kind of not going to do hauls anymore on my channel. But this is a special occasion and... You know, I love all of this. This just makes my heart so happy, so I had to share. All right, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.